This video demonstrates the steps involved in the purification of genomic DNA from the Origin and OraCollect families of collection kits. These purification steps are fully described in the Laboratory Protocol for Manual Purification of DNA from 0.5 milliliters of sample, document PD-PR-006, available at www.dnagenotech.com. Please note, watching this video is intended to supplement the written protocol and should not be used as a substitute for reading PD-PR-006. This video illustrates how to purify DNA from a 500 microliter aliquot of sample. Prepit L2P is the reagent required for this protocol. The equipment required for this protocol is 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes. Ethanol, 95% to 100% at room temperature. Ethanol, 70% at room temperature. DNA storage buffer. Air or water incubator at 50 degrees Celsius. Microcentrifuge capable of running at 15,000 times G. To begin, mix the sample in the DNA Genotech collection kit by inversion and gentle shaking for 5 seconds. This is to ensure that the viscous samples are properly mixed. Incubate the sample at 50 degrees Celsius in a water incubator for a minimum of one hour or in an air incubator for a minimum of two hours. The sample may be incubated at 50 degrees Celsius overnight if it is more convenient. This heat treatment step is essential to ensure that DNA is adequately released and the nucleases are permanently inactivated. The incubation step may be performed at any time after the sample is collected and before it is purified. The entire sample must be incubated in the original collection tube before aliquoting to ensure sample homogeneity. Transfer 500 microliters of sample to a microcentrifuge tube. Add 20 microliters of Prepit L2P. Mix by vortexing for a few seconds. Incubate on ice for 10 minutes. Centrifuge at room temperature for 5 minutes at 15,000 times G. The pellet contains turbid impurities. If accidentally disturbed, the tube should be recentrifuged. Carefully transfer the majority of the clear supernatant with a pipette to a fresh microcentrifuge tube. Discard the pellet. Add 600 microliters of room temperature 95% to 100% ethanol to clear supernatant. Mix gently by inversion 10 times. During mixing with ethanol, the DNA will be precipitated. This may appear as a clot of DNA fibers or as a fine precipitate depending upon the amount of DNA in the sample. Even if no clot is seen, DNA will be recovered by carefully following the next steps. Let the sample stand at room temperature for 10 minutes to allow the DNA to fully precipitate. Place the tube in the centrifuge with a known orientation. Centrifuge at room temperature for 2 minutes at 15,000 times G. For example, Place each tube in the microcentrifuge with the hinge portion of the cap pointing away from the center of the rotor. After centrifugation, the position of the pellet can be located, even if too tiny to be easily visible, at the tip of the tube below the hinge. This pellet contains DNA. Loss of the pellet will result in loss of the DNA. The supernatant may contain impurities and should be removed as completely as possible. Excessive drying of the pellet can make the DNA more difficult to dissolve. Carefully pipette off the supernatant and discard it. Take care to avoid disturbing the DNA pellet. Add 250 microliters of 70% ethanol and let stand at room temperature for one minute. Completely remove the ethanol without disturbing the pellet. It is important to remove all ethanol from the sample. Carryover of the ethanol may impact the performance of the downstream assay. Should the pellet detach, 
Centrifuge the sample for 5 minutes at 15,000 times G. Add 100 microliters of TE solution and vortex the sample for at least 5 seconds. If a higher concentration of DNA is desired, 50 microliters of TE should be used. Incubate overnight at room temperature or at 50 degrees Celsius for one hour, vortexing occasionally. Incomplete rehydration of the DNA is a cause of inaccuracy in estimating DNA concentration and potential failure of downstream applications such as PCR. Store in aliquots at minus 20 degrees Celsius for long-term storage, recommended, or at 4 degrees Celsius for up to two months.